please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. Do you want to start your own business and you don't have enough cash for inventory and exporting products in bulk? Do you have the will to plan, research and to be a constant learner? If yes, then this course is the right place to start from. You can start your own business without having to worry about investing a lot of money up front. You can do that by dropshipping. Heck yes, it is possible and that may change your life. In this course, I will teach you dropshipping right from the basics up to the point of start selling. Dropshipping is one of the best ways to start a business today. It is incredibly easy to start and you can begin with just a computer and a little bit of money. Dropshipping is also an extremely flexible career path, so you can do it as a side hustle or grow it into a full-time job. It is completely possible to make a living from dropshipping alone, and there are countless entrepreneurs who have proven that. And while dropshipping won't make you a millionaire overnight, it can provide a stream of revenue that you can grow. With the right strategies, you might even be able to say goodbye to your day job and make dropshipping your main hustle. That's it for this welcome video. Let's move to the next one. See you there. Hello there. Dropshipping is a type of retail fulfillment method. Instead of a store stocking products, it purchases the products from a third party supplier. The products are then shipped directly to the consumer. For the store, this is a mostly hands off process. The merchant doesn't have to order inventory or fulfill the orders in any way. Instead, the third party supplier takes care of the product itself. The merchant is mainly responsible for, for gaining customers and processing orders in drop shipping. Meaning, you will effectively be a middleman. Despite this, you will reap the lion's share of the profit by marking up the items you sell. It is a simple business model and one that can be very rewarding. The dropshipping process. So here's a step-by-step -step overview of the entire dropshipping process. Your store, for example, offers a product. The customer places an order and pays you a retail price, for example, $30. You forward the order to the supplier and pay a wholesale, for example, $10. And you get to keep $20 profit. Then the supplier ships the product directly to the customer. And that's the whole process. Dropshipping is easy to start. You don't need to be a business guru to get started. In fact, you don't even need any per year business experience. If you take some time to learn the basics, you can get started quickly and learn the rest as you go along. Dropshipping is so easy because it requires very, very little from you. You don't need a warehouse to store products or a team to help you out. You don't have to worry about stocking or shipping either. You don't even have to spend a certain amount of time every day on your store. It is surprisingly hands off, especially once you get going. All of this mean that you can start your own business today. You don't need to spend months getting everything ready. You can start getting everything up and running within a matter of hours. You will need some foundational knowledge and the right tools and resources. And that's why we created this course. By the time you have finished it, you will be equipped with the knowledge you need to jumpstart your own dropshipping business. Dropshipping is easy to grow. As you scale up, your business model doesn't have to change very much. You will have to put more work into sales and marketing as you grow. 
but your day to day will stay more or less the same. One of the benefits of dropshipping is that the costs don't skyrocket when you scale. Because of this, it is easy to keep growing at a pretty fast rate. You don't have to hire a huge team either. Unless you want to assemble a small team at some point, you can do almost everything all by yourself. Dropshipping doesn't demand a lot of capital because starting dropshipping business requires so little. You can get started with minimal minimal funds. You can build an entire business right from the laptop and you don't need to make any higher level investments. Even as your business grows your costs will be fairly low, especially when you compare to a traditional business expenses. Dropshipping is flexible. This is one of its biggest benefits. You get to be your own boss and set your own rules. It's by far one of the most flexible careers that anyone can pursue. You can work from home with little more than a laptop and you can work at times that most convenient for you. This is ideal for entrepreneurs who want business that works for them. You won't have to bend over backwards to get things done. Instead, you set your own pace. Dropshipping is also flexible in that it gives you a lot of room to make decisions that work for you. You can easily list new products whenever you want and you can adjust your strategies on the fly. If you are going on a vacation, you can automate everything to run while you are away. You get the idea? The possibilities are limitless. Dropshipping is easy to manage. Since it doesn't require you to make many commitments, you can manage everything with a little hassle. Like I said, you can do everything all by yourself, if you want to. Once you have found the suppliers and gotten everything set up, you are mostly responsible just for online storefront. That's all for this lecture. Now let's move to the next one. Hello there. Dropshipping as a side hustle. What is dropshipping's main appeal? Because it is flexible and it doesn't demand much, it is the ideal side job. Many entrepreneurs choose to do dropshipping on the side while they have a main job that provides steady income. You don't have to sacrifice your day job to pursue your dreams of becoming an entrepreneur. The number one worry here is that your employer will prevent you from having a side hustle. But believe it or not, many companies are fine with that. You will want to make sure that you are in the clear. Ask about your company's policy on side businesses and review any non-compete agreement that you have signed. You also definitely want to ensure there is no conflict of interest. But, every, but if everything checks out, then you are good to go. Dropshipping as a full-time e-commerce business. One of the benefits of dropshipping is the flexibility. You can make your own business as big or as small as you want it to be. Many dropshippers choose to do it on the side, but it's also available career path. If you want to be a full-time dropshipper retailer, you can be. It is easy to scale up your business with dropshipping meaning you can grow your business pretty quickly while keeping costs down. Once you have reached customers and gotten enough sales, you can move from dropshipping part-time to full-time. Best of all, you can make this happen at whatever pace you want it to be. Obviously, this is going to take more work, but the payoff is well worth it. Once you figure out how to dropship effectively, you won't have to worry about unsteady revenue. A well-established dropshipping e-commerce business operates like clockwork. 
and it can even feel like you are generating passive income. And since it doesn't take up a lot of time, you could even take on a side hustle while still being a full-time dropshipping retailer. The sky's the limit. That's it for this video. Now let's move to the second one. Hello there. Since you've started to watch this lesson, it's more likely that you will stick with us to the end of this course. But if you didn't, it's okay. No hard feelings. So, I have some important points to mention. Number one, dropshipping like any other business needs to be seriously taken. You need to plan well, think ahead, research and to learn more. Number two, dropshipping won't make you a millionaire overnight. Your dropshipping empire needs to be built step by step. And by following the right practices, it will grow by time. Number three, it would be better that you go through the entire course and take notes before you start implementing. Then go back again, watch and implement. This way it would be easier for you and a lot of things will make sense to you. Finally, Udemy may ask you for your review about the course at the beginning. I'd appreciate it if you leave that until you finish the course and if you find it great, smash those stars. Otherwise, you can contact me at any time for any suggestions. That's pretty much it for this introductory section. Let's move to the second one. See you there.